Hi folks, Ben here from Lancasters. Welcome to Lockdown 2.0. Um, now this is a little info video for landlords, you lovely people out there providing homes to, uh, to lovely tenants. I have here the top nine frequently asked questions by landlords and I'm going to rattle through them as quick as I can and any questions you can come back to me individually, I'm always happy to help. Number one, can I put my property up for rent onto the market? Yes you can, whether you are currently on the market seeking a tenant or whether you are about to put the property on the market for the first time, like the first time or a relet when a tenant's leaving, absolutely your property can go onto the market and stay on the market for up for let um, it, during this time, no problem at all. Number two, can people view my property? Yes they can, the property if it's empty it's dead easy, if it's occupied it can still be done as well, no problem whatsoever. Uh, this lockdown is not a justification for um, an existing tenant stopping entry into the property. It has to be managed in the right way. Um, we know how to do all of that. There's procedures in place. Uh, if in doubt, shall I'll tell you how we do it. But yes, 100%, your properties can uh, be viewed uh, during this during this time. Number three, can tenants still be referenced during this time? Yes, they can. No problem at all. Um, yes, we need to be able to speak to previous landlords and employers and all those kind of kind of things. But we have found, without exception, all of those uh, bodies and people are are working in some capacity. Might be working from home or whatever else. But but there's nothing that has even slowed down our referencing process at the moment. So thorough referencing can still happen, um, and it's still going on. No problem at all with that one. Number four, property visits. Now, if you are a landlord of ours, a managed landlord of ours, you will be familiar with, the, with our regular property visits and the reports you get subsequently. Um, we will continue, be continuing to, to do those. If you are a landlord with another agency, your agent should be continuing to do those as normal. It's not an excuse to stop doing those at all. Properties still need to be monitored and maintained and kept in a safe order and you need to be able to do property, property visits to be able to, to ensure that. Okay, so if you're a private landlord and doing your own property visits, keep that going. Yes, there are procedures, you need to keep distance from your tenants, um, you need to sanitize your hands, you need to wear a face covering. Um, but, but other than that, you can continue, you know, there's, there's some great government guidance on that, Google it, Help, uh, come to me if you get stuck. Which brings me on to number five, of can contractors still visit properties? Yes, they can, and yes, they should. Properties do need to be maintained as I've, as I've covered. So um, this is not an excuse for tenants not letting you into your property to maintain it, or you not wanting to maintain your property quite as speedily as perhaps you previously would have done. It must continue as normal. Um, we've heard n no landlords of ours, but from other agencies and, and other private landlords coming to us over the last couple of months, some terrifying stories about uh, gas safety or electrical safety certificates not being in place because they thought they didn't have to during during, during COVID. That has been super clear since March. 100% all of that safety certification has to, not only can, but must continue. Um, do not put yourself or your tenant at risk with that one, okay? Come to me if you've got any, any, any questions on that. Number six, um, it's a funny one, does, does does my tenant still have to pay rent? Yeah, of course they do. Um, they had to throughout the last lockdown, they've got to through this one. There is um, there's heaps of government help out there for anybody who is struggling, um, tenant for the tenants who are struggling. Uh, the help comes from that end of the system, they still have to pay you as normal. You know, I stand here in front of you now, um, early November of the year we've had, we have zero rent arrears. Um, a well-managed tenant and a well-managed tenancy um, just shouldn't just shouldn't be an issue. Shouldn't be a shouldn't be a problem at all. Okay. Any any, any questions for that? Come come back to me. Number seven, mortgage holidays. Now, in oh, I think it was about June time. Uh, there was released by central government that uh, people with mortgages, so be it landlords with buy to let mortgages or residents in their own their own properties, could apply for a mortgage holiday of up to three months. Now that was due to be coming to an end. Um, that has now been extended to six months. So 
If you've previously had a three month mortgage holiday um, and, you want, and you're still struggling a little bit and you want an additional three months, you can, you can do that. You can add it on, it's a total of six months you can have. If you've, not, if you've managed to get through this far without using it at all, um, but now things are getting a little bit tight, then yet by all means you can apply for the full six months from this point going forward. Everybody's entitled to six months, however you, however you split it. Um, that comes with a slight word of warning though, check with your lender that it's not going to affect your credit rating. Um, because what you don't want to do is get through all of this and then try and remortgage for a better rate next year and find out that you can't because, or you know, you're buying your main home and you can't because of something you did here, which you maybe didn't need to do in the, in the, in the long run. Okay, number eight is notice periods. So uh, anybody who's watched any of my videos before will be fully aware that the usual two months notice that you give to your tenants to be able to break, get the property back was extended initially to three months and then to six months. Okay, so it doesn't matter what your contract says, if it says the notice period from the landlord to the tenant to get the property back is two months, it's now six. Okay, it, that period of time is a minimum of six months to be able to get that to be able to get that back. Okay, um, that that's been the case now for about three months, I think, um, and it has actually three months, and it will continue to be the case until the end of March 2021. All right, so just remember that it's six months' notice to be able to ask your tenant to vacate, to leave. Obviously, they, you can reach a, a private agreement where they may be happy to go sooner because they found something, that's great. Uh, and the tenant's obligation to you remains the same as what it was originally, usually one, one full month from the rent due date or whatever, whatever you've got in the terms of your, of your agreement, that's what ours are as standard. So one month notice from the tenant, six months from you to the tenant. All right. Now, number nine sneaked in there late yesterday, uh, when the government uh, spoke about um, a slight tweak, a slight alteration to eviction processes. Now, a couple of the headlines sounded far scarier than the reality of it. I'll talk you through it really quickly. The courts were closed for a long period of time, so if you did get into a point where you were having to forcibly remove a tenant, you know, goodness, cross fingers, touch wood, we, we've, we've not been there with any of ours, so no, no rent arrears or anything, so we're all good, but some of you unfortunately have been in that situation. Courts were closed for a long period of time, you couldn't do anything about it. Courts then opened in September, mostly massive backlog, they're trying to catch up. Um, yesterday, uh, which, you know, uh, so end of the first week of November, they have said that um, no evictions will take place now until at least the, at least the 11th of January. Now, what that doesn't, what they, what they have not done is change the court process. So if you are in that position, you can still issue proceedings, you can still go all the way through the court process and, and get your possession order, no problem at all. Don't think that you've now got to restart the whole process again in, in January. That's not that at all. You can carry on as normal, just you can't send in a court bailiff until the, until the 11th of January. They don't want anybody evicting families on Christmas Eve. It's basically what it's all about. So um, you can continue with all the paperwork side of it, you just can't actually enforce it until at least the 11th of January. And But to be, to be honest, one, you shouldn't really be in that situation anyway, most people, you know, if you put good tenants in there in the first place, reference them well, um, and, and communicated with them well all the way through, you shouldn't be in that scenario. And, and, and two, the backlog is so huge, uh, you know, I've got no first-hand experience of it because we're not in that situation ourselves with any tendencies, but I should imagine that the, the waiting list is pretty long anyway. So uh, that's, that's that one, don't read the headlines that say evictions closed again, it's, it's there, all right? you've probably had enough of my voice now. If you've got any questions, please do come back to me. Um, obviously, you, if you're a landlord of ours, hi again, how you doing? Always reach out. We love a bit of communication. Don't, don't, be, don't be afraid of reaching out. I'd love to hear from you. Love to be able to talk to you. Um, if you are a landlord, either with another agency that might not be giving you the level of communication you, you desire, or you're a private landlord and you just want somewhere to turn, reach out. We're here for the greater good. We, I'm up to helping for helping anybody I, I can. So um, email address is lettings at lancasters.org. Telephone number 01983 209020. I'm Ben, I've got a full big team here to be able to help you. Um, yeah, 
Take care, folks. Speak to you soon.